This is Randy Miller, Olympic bronze medal, and you're watching the Crystal Heart Show. Randy, if you had one thing you would do differently, what would have you done? I think I would have taken the time to, to really calm my nerves and relax and not get so caught up in the Olympic moment. I think that's what I would do differently. Tell us about that Olympic moment. Uh, what's it like? It's it was amazing coming out of the tunnel and hearing people shouting USA and <laughs> USA. Yeah, yeah, hearing the crowd, you know, cheer and it, it was really something something special. And your family were they there? Yeah, my mom was there. So it, was, it was good to have her there too. And, and tell us just a little bit about your training. Where, where did you train and and how did you become involved in wrestling? <laughs> I, I know everybody wants to know that. I became involved. Um, in high school when I got cut from the basketball team and then I just went into wrestling because it was uh, around the same time and uh, I, did not, I did not want to take a PE class. I did not want to take a PE class. So I went into wrestling and after a few workouts I was addicted. We are here with 2008 Olympic bronze medalist, very proud, originally from Arlington, Texas, Randy Miller who won the first Olympics at 63 kilos. First off, congratulations on winning this medal. It has to be a tremendous achievement for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy about this medal. I was glad to bring home, bring, get to bring home something. You started wrestling in high school, but just your last year, I believe you were second in the high school tournament the first year. I, I, I talked to Steve Nelson, the coach of the girl who beat you in the finals at Caladuro, a friend of mine, Amarillo, and you went on you weren't expected, you weren't the favorite to win the trials, you won there, you weren't a favorite to medal. You did so well coming from behind the third match, I just watched that again with De Grenier of Canada, you're actually down in the third period. Tell us about coming from behind to suck it up and win that medal. Well, I, I knew I had time to score a point, you know, a, after she had scored her point. I knew I had time to still win, so that, that was just the main thing on my mind was, was to get that last point so I can, I can be the one with the medal. Yeah. What do you think was key? Because a lot of the commentary was discussing aggression and countering. Americans seem very good at aggression, not as good at countering, you, you pinned your first opponent, you were very good with the aggression, but sometimes you were getting countered. How do you balance those those two off? Uh, I don't, I think my counters are pretty good. I, I don't know, I just, I actually, I like to go and wrestle my moves. Like, I don't really try to think about what they're going to do to me. So that's how, that's what makes it fun for me. So I, I just wanted to go out there and do my moves in my, my way, my style. How important do you think this was uh, drawing attention to states like Texas have a very strong girls program on the high school level for wrestling? A lot, most states don't, but Texas, Hawaii, a couple of places do. Well, I think it's good because it shows what what girls having a girls programs in high school can do. It can produce a Olympic medalist one day, you know. So, hopefully, more states will will allow that to happen. Will allow girls divisions and girls teams in high school. How is it adapting from folk style, which is a lot more emphasis, just single, double leg, put your point on your back, to freestyle where there were back points without control, which a lot of people who come up through folk style are not as used to? You know, I think it just depends on the style of wrestler. I was never one to, to that liked to do roll-throughs and, and things like that, so it, it didn't really, my style didn't change much at all when I switched to freestyle. Now, are you going to be continuing to wrestle? Have you made a decision at this point? Yeah, I, I, I'm, as of right now, I'm going to continue to wrestle. Do you think you got covered on uh, NBC? I think it might have been MSNBC. You got a lot of coverage. A lot of people are still relatively unaware that there's women's wrestling in the Olympics and girls wrestling on the high school and also on, on the collegiate level. Have you heard much feedback at this point since you've been back in the States? I've heard a lot of feedback from my hometown, um, mainly congratulating me and saying things like, yeah, they didn't know that women's wrestling was in the Olympics and, you know, just wondering about my story. So, yeah, I've gotten a, like, quite a bit of feedback. Are you going to be staying out at the Olympic Training Center? Yes. And tell us about working with 
Terry Steiner. He's a guy that came with that very aggressive Iowa style and has really adapted it to, to training the women's team for freestyle. Well, you know, um, yeah, I work with Terry Steiner a lot, but I mainly work with Levi Michael uh -huh. Magden. He's the one that actually showed me the style that I'm using. And uh, he, his, his way is very aggressive, very in your face of way of wrestling, which I, I love, you know. I've, I feel like I've been doing that for a while too, since high school, really. The one match you didn't win was against the woman that nobody's beaten for a long time, Icho of Japan, who won another gold medal, has got a whole truckload of world championships. Tell us about how it was wrestling her. She was the favorite and she won in your weight club. Uh, wrestling her was, was quite an experience. Um, you know, I feel like that I wasn't at 100% when I was wrestling her, I, I feel, well, she's really good, don't get me wrong, she's, she's a very good wrestler, but I, I, I guess I could just say it was a good experience wrestling her, I learned a lot. I learned a lot wrestling her. Looking back, how do you think she can be beaten? Um, I think the way about going about it is the way, the way I was trying to do, just kind of beat her up, you know, and at full throttle, you can't hold back with, with, a, great, with a great wrestler like that. Why do you think the Japanese women's team has been so good? They got two of the four gold medals. They've won most of the world championships over the last several years. You know, I don't know what they're doing over there. I, ha I have no idea why they have success like that. But I, we're right around the corner. We're going to be beating them all the time pretty soon. A lot of people talk about the American wrestlers conditioning. Obviously, conditioning played a real role in that last period when you were down. How important do you think that is for the American women wrestlers? For my style, it's, it's very important. So, I mean, if you want to keep going and getting that point in the last second, you got to be in shape yourself to, to do it. So. Okay. Do you got a website? I know you've been on MySpace. I saw yeah. you. <laughs> my website is www.randymiller.us. And the MySpace, too? Are you still taking friends on it? <laughs> yeah. MySpace, www.myspace.com backslash Ramanda42. All right, listen, congratulations again. This has to be quite an experience. Where are you going to, after you get done from New York, when are you going to get a chance to settle down and relax? Um, shortly after this trip, I'm going to take some time and uh, hang out, relax. Are you going to go back to Texas to visit family and friends? At all? Uh, I, might, I might be around there for a few days, yeah. They'll probably, they'll <laughs> probably welcome you. <laughs> all right, congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. I was reading that. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a takedown. It's a, what I mean is, it's a takedown. To, uh, it gets you one point. So that's what I had to do. I had to shoot. <laughs> okay. Well, say something to your fans out there. Hey, everybody. Keep watching wrestling. Keep loving wrestling. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. You're